Germany under steam. The railway becomes the engine of industrialization. 1835, its first journey from Nuremberg to Fürth, racing along at up to 40 kilometers per hour, breathtakingly fast for the contemporaries. Railway stations become the palaces of modern mobility, functional and representative at the same time. The horse of steel stands for the conquest of space and time. The first trains still come from England, but German engineers and machinists are already on the fast track, and it leads to Berlin. Mid-19th century, on the banks of the Spree, Germany's most modern ironworks rises. Lokomotivenfabrik August Borsig. It makes Prussia independent from the English competition. Another entrepreneur, Henry Strausberg, becomes known as the Railway King. He builds new lines through half of Europe. The railway connects cities and industrial centers beyond all borders. By the late 19th century, the railway network grows many times over. This transport revolution accelerates Germany's economic unity. The railway business is booming and makes speculators like Strausberg rich. Self-assured, he shows himself with his family outside his palace. 1896, the Industrial Exposition in Berlin. The German economy makes a breakthrough. New technology is proudly displayed. The state encourages this development by establishing trade schools. A push for modernization triggered by the close connection between science and research. The steel industry too is booming. By the late 19th century, the German Empire is already the third largest economic power in the world. Automobile pioneer Karl Benz with his wife, Bertha. The automobile makes its triumphant march throughout the entire world, thrilling the masses. But the new magic word is electricity. Two Berlin companies, Siemens and AEG, stand at the peak of the electro industry and rule the world market. Electrical current is even more fascinating than steam and steel. It is invisible and makes the incredible possible. So now news can be sent all over the globe by means of telegraphy. Germany's economic power is feared abroad, especially in England. There, German products must now be labeled made in Germany. Intended as a disparagement, the label becomes a seal of quality and a worldwide trademark. 